I'm here today with a makeup haul. These are what's new in makeup. Some of it, some of it's not so new. Um, I just wanted to share with you a bunch of stuff that I got and um, show you guys some swatches and stuff. And yeah, I'm not gonna do a long intro. If you're new, welcome to my channel. My name is Cassie. I hope you enjoy this video and you decide to stay a while. Hit that subscribe button and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up before you leave. And let's just get into my haul. So the first things I'm gonna do, let's do eyes first. I bought a ton, I've been very into like uh, glittery top coats on the eyes. It's just like what I'm into. So I'll start with what's on my eye right now. It's the Sephora Colorful Glitter. This is in the shade Lucky Penny. And I've literally never heard anyone talk about these before. Don't mind my hands or my nails. I have to go get my nails done. I had gel nails and then it just, they like peeled off really fast. Now there's not gonna be much to see because again, this is like a glittery top coat. Yeah, you're not really gonna be able to see that. Uh, the way that I use this is I just get my finger in there and then I pat it on my lid and it just gives you the most beautiful kind of like, um, I don't know, elegant little sparkle on your lid. So if you like something that has like a big pop of like pigment, these probably won't be for you. But if you like to add like a little glittery top coat on top of your eye look, I think you'll really like this one. So this one is glitter, um, the glitter one in Lucky Penny. I'm probably not gonna swatch these because they're just, they're not gonna swatch well. It's more just like a fine, like shimmery glitter on your lid. It's called Twinkle Twinkle. And this one is a little bit more of like a pearly, opaly color, a little bit of pink in there. Sorry, I'm looking at my, looking at myself in the viewfinder. I'm doing a more casual thing like on my phone today instead of pulling out my camera. So hopefully this will be good enough. Uh, then we have this one here. These are all under the glitter. This one's in ballet shoes. This one's a lot lighter, kind of like a, I don't know, white one. Yeah, you just can't see it. So this one is more has a little bit more of like the creamy shade to it compared to like if I pull up ballet's, what's this one, Twinkle Twinkle. And these are cool because you can depot them too. So like here's Twinkle Twinkle and here is ballet shoes. And again, it's they're very sheer. It's just gonna give you that sparkle on top. Then I have this one here called To the Moon and Back. This one's more, oh. Oh, oh, metal effect. I thought this was a glitter one. Okay, this one's a metal effect. Interesting. Clearly, we haven't swatched this one yet. Ooh, that's pretty. It's kind of like a cream shadow. Ooh, that's really pretty. You see that? Wow. This one is like almost like a color pop super shock shadow. Like it's like bouncy. Okay, do I have other ones like that? Interesting. This one is in the shade Mirage. This one like popped out of its little home. Oh, it's broken. And these I think are like $9 at Sephora. So this one's like one of those shape shifting ones. Kind of reminds me of like Club from MAC or Blue Brown Pigment. I might send that one back though because it's all cracked. Let me set that one over here. Okay, then I have this one is also a glitter one. This one's called Glitter Dress. And this one's more of like a greeny gunmetal color. Do you see? Pretty neat. So I really like those. And then I got one of their sequence ones. This one's called Glitter Fever. So this one's more, it's funny because what their idea of a sequence is like straight up glitter, but most eyeshadow eyeshadows, when they say a sequence, it's like a matte shadow with a little bit of sparkle in it. And this one's like straight up gritty, like gritty glitter. That's so pretty. So those were the little eyeshadows I got from the Sephora collection. And then I got two of these Lawless eyeshadows. They're called Bio Glitter Eyeshadows. This first one is in the shade Champagne Dreams. Let's see there, it's really pretty. This one's pretty gritty as well. I did buy, you'll see in a Target haul, some glitter glue it's from NYX. It's called like glitter, I don't know, glitter glue type thing. Um, Cause you can see this one's also like another really sheer glittery top coat. So I thought maybe that'll help some of these like little micro sparkles stick. So swatching these, these look really unimpressive. And then this one's the rose gold one and it's called Sparkling Rose. They're very um, gritty and just pure like glitter. This one, when you buff it in, it has like this really pretty peachy 
pink, you'll see that, duochrome, super pretty. So those ones are from the brand Lawless. And then the rest I think is lip stuff. Oh yeah, let's see. I have a couple things I'm thinking about sending back already, but okay. Uh, then I got this highlighter from Anastasia and I definitely thought it was going to be different than it is. It, to me, it looks a little bit different than it does on the, um, it, see how strong that yellow pole is. It's very, very strong yellow. And that just does not look good on my skin. Like it's, I thought it was going to be more of that icy white, but it's got too strong of a, look at that yellow green pull. And that just does not look flattering on me. So if you're thinking about buying this and you don't like that real strong yellow, then I don't think you're going to like that, which is a bummer because I was really excited. But yeah, it's almost like a gray and then it like turns into this really yellow color that I'm just not, it's just not what I like for a highlighter. So I'm probably going to be sending that one back. I got a ton of lip products. Uh, Natasha Denona came out with some lip liners and I'm a huge fan of her lipsticks, like these ones. I have quite a few. Most of the time when I get asked what I'm wearing on my lips, it's Natasha Denona lipsticks. So I picked up a couple of the lip liners. This one is in the shade NB1 Michelle. And I'm trying to figure out how I like these, um, to be honest. This one's in Michelle. This next one is in Natasha. That one right there, it's a little bit more of like rosy toned. I feel like I have one more of these. What's this one? This one is in Dana. This ends up getting very taupey gray on me. If I love this taupey one, it's a little bit too gray brown on my lips once it kind of fades. Uh, then I got Charlotte Tilbury Hot Gossip, which I really like that color. It's super pretty. And then I've never heard anyone talk about these Bare Minerals Gen Nude ones. And this was in the color Vibe. It's what I have on right now. And that color is so pretty. Vibe. Um, the other stuff that's on my lips is this Ultimat from Maybelline in the color More Taupe. And then I topped it with this Revlon in your go-to. That's what's on my lips. Then I got this little set from Charlotte Tilbury. I'm a huge Charlotte Tilbury fan. Um, I've gotten their PR before, but I've literally spent so much money on Charlotte Tilbury stuff because I just really like her products. Let's see if I can get this out. This is one of their new colors called Walk of Shame or a new color to me, I guess. I've never, I've never looked at this one before. So this one's called Walk of Shame. It's a little bit more of like a pinky red, which is not usually my normal cup of tea, but it looks so pretty on the models. So that one is Walk of Shame. Just looked really pretty. So I'm gonna give that one a go. All right, two more Natasha Denona. This one is in Noah, N-O-A. Oh, it's so pretty. Just a nice nude. That's all I wear. That's all I wear is nudes. Uh, this one is called Yana. You can see those next to each other. They're definitely more cooler tones. This Yana color, I'm actually contemplating sitting back. It's just very gray. Yeah, I don't know if I like that. It's very, very gray. So that one's kind of like a, uh, I'm not sure about. Then I got this NARS uh, lipstick in Augustine. And I just thought it was just so pretty. I'm really into like the nude colors. Okay. Then I picked up these little NARS lip, matte, soft matte tinted lip balms. I think they have great coverage. They're so pretty. This one's in Brief Encounter. Brief Encounter. They're incredibly comfortable on the lips. Give a nice matte, easy to throw on, really beautiful. Unrestricted. This one's a little bit more pinky mauve color. Right there. Then we have Intimate. which has like a little bit more orange to it, like a little bit more of that peach tone. And then Whiplash. There's this one right here, which is a little bit more rosy too. And then I got the last lip, well, last lipstick is this one here. This is in Honey, it's from Clinique. No, it's from Bobbi Brown. And I've never really tried Bobbi Brown lip products. It's just like a little balm. And I just thought it was super pretty and I liked the little glossiness to it. 
It has a little bit more of that like red tone. I thought this would be really pretty in the summer because it's kind of like, I don't know, that juicy lip look. All right, the last lip thing I got was the Fenty Cream. This one is in the shade Fenty Glow. I like the regular Fenty. Oh, this one's good, let's just put it on. Mm, it just feels so pillowy and nice. I like that. Also picked up this Anastasia uh, Brow Freeze Brow Styling Wax. And I really like it. I'm trying to like figure out the soap brow things. I have very sparse brows, so I'm just trying to like figure out how to make it look good on me. Um, and so far this one's been one of my favorites that I've used. Also picked up two of these foundations. This is the Best Skin Ever by Sephora. I got the shade 17.5 and N and 20N. This looks really yellow. Um, I only tried it once and I don't know if I was having a bad skin day, so I need to give it another try because the reviews for this are really good. And I think maybe it's just a bad skin day because it didn't look good, but it looks really pretty on my hand. It smells like foundation. <laughs> Um, so I'm excited to try that because the reviews were amazing on it and it's supposed to be, um, does it say on here? Medium buildable coverage for a naturally perfected skin, enriched with algae extracts and hyaluronic acid, provides anti-pollution benefits and 12 hour hydration. So I really want to like that. So I'm going to give that a go again. And then I picked up two perfumes. This is the, the last of the haul. This is the Skylar Vanilla Sky. This is an expensive perfume. It's very, um, it's their rollerball. This is really nice. It rem I'm trying to remember what it reminds me of. Very vanilla-y, but it smells really good. I really like this. If you like vanilla scents, you would really like the Vanilla Sky. And then I picked up the Huda Beauty brand. It's K Ali. I don't know how you pronounce that, K Ali. And it's in Vanilla 128. This is very, very, it has vanilla, but it has like this real musky powdery scent to it too that like if you spray it and you breathe it in wrong, you're gonna like choke to death. That's the only bad thing. So I'm kind of on the fence about it. It's pretty expensive for this little thing. But this Skylar one, if you like just real beautiful vanilla, mature vanilla scent, I think you'd really like this. So that is it for my haul. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave. If you picked up any of these things, let me know what you think or if any of them are on your list. And I will talk to you guys in the next one. Bye.